All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up another day now. Um, just had a new one show up, so luckily I still have this out. I haven't started doing the video showdown. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and unbox a new one today, uh, Shrimp King, which is why I've got everything lined up again. Um, get a cup ready for this. And, ah, oh, I still have my quarter out of here, good. So comparison, one ounce cup. The new one that I just got in today is Shrimp King Baby. I don't know anything about this one, but I've been doing good with Shrimp King Color. Really wanted to try these out, but I've been wanting to do better with my babies in the tank, so I've been trying out a lot of baby food and decided to pick this one up. It was, uh, I believe, $17.99 on Amazon and had this show up uh, the day after I got my color refill. And so I'm going to go ahead and open this one up, if I can manage the packaging. I'm going to go ahead and slide this 5-in-1 out of the way and flatten this packaging. They all come in this semi-spherical <laughs> packaging, like so. Even the 5-in-1 did, the color, everything else. Just get the 5-in-1 pack out of the way. And we're going to start playing with Shrimp King Baby. Get the color out of the way, just slide that to the side. Again, the colors, very coffee ground looking. All the others were, you know, stick pellets. So, same size as the Shrimp King Color, which is good. So you get a 30 gram package with that, which is a decent amount. We'll see how long it lasts in the long run. I want to say my last Shrimp King Color lasted me roughly... This one opened much easier than the one yesterday. Um, I want to say it lasted me two, three months uh, with uh, pretty healthy feeding with my tank. So, Shrimp King Color, Derlene, if I'm saying that right. Um, ah, this is a very fine powder compared to the... Let me go ahead and show it in here so you can see side by side. So you get your ground coffee looking nuggets. And this is a powder, kind of looks like cinnamon. Um, and you know, dirty, earthy smell to it. Honestly, it smells exactly like the Shimp, shimp King color. Mm, no, not, not quite. Very, very similar, but it has a different note to it. Um, this I don't want to put on the paper. I've already messed up my paper enough the last couple of days. Um, I'm not going to use any of this without doing a live video so everybody can see it. But yeah, this is a, a cinnamon nutmeg looking very fine powder. I don't know if this could be the best way to use this one if it says anything. A lot of people use the powder products like Bacter AE and things like that. The Shrimp Fit, Shrimp Baby, they just sprinkle it on. I will sometimes do that, but I actually prefer mixing it up in a shaker cup and pouring it in. Sometimes I'll use some fresh water, you know, top off water, because I all my tanks are RODI water. And then sometimes I'll go ahead and one pinch, 50 liter, one to two times a day. Distribute it evenly in the aquarium. Yeah, nothing special to it. Doesn't say anything. Small pinch, so if you're just doing a small pinch, this will last a long time. Um, something like this, I'd be using a lot more than this when I feed. If I were to use this, I would use... Let me see if I have one close by. Oh. Nope. Grab my shrimp baby. Actually, this would be a good show off. We'll compare it to. That's not a clean cup. That's a clean cup. We can compare the shrimp baby to the glass garden shrimp baby. Didn't even think about doing that. But normally I will use, like on my 75, I will use a full scoop, like every other day or so. And 
I don't know how much is in a scoop, but let's see if I can sprinkle it about. So, I'd say that's pretty close to the same amount. Yeah, that looks about even. So that would have been about a quarter scoop. So, me and my feeding going, let me leave this out here so we know which one's which and I don't mix them up. If we compare it to the Glass Garden product, the Glass Garden is a tanner, sandy, earthy color, whereas this one's a more brown red color. Um, very earthy smell to it. Actually, they smell pretty similar. Yeah, it just has an earthy, you know, herbal smell to it. Both kind of like a, a tea. I keep saying that a lot, but that's what it smells like. But yeah, there. These are the products that are supposed to be really good for the babies. And I, did I put my scoop in the cup? I sure did. Let's see if I can fish that out without making a mess. Get this stuff put back. Set that cup aside. I don't know why I had a dirty one out here. It must have been left over from yesterday. I thought I had new clean cups. But see how this does. I'll do a video shootout on it in the next few days. I just wrapped up showing off another product which I'm going to do an unboxing for in just a few minutes. Shooting like three, four videos tonight. Um, yeah, that is a lot. This should go... I want to say it's going to go a long way, but if I use it as much as I use the Shrimp Baby... And the packaging size is 35 grams, and these are 75 gram bottle. Yeah, I don't know how long it'll last. I'd say, even when I get the small 30 gram bottles like Shrimp Fit and Factory E, I burn through those pretty quick. I'm not sure how long this would last me. Most people, you'd want to use a pinch, something the size of a grain of rice in a 10 to 40 gallon aquarium with, say, under 50 shrimp. You don't want to use a whole lot. I've heard a lot of people talking, especially like Mark's Aquatics, talking about uh, Bacter AE and products like that, which would be in this line, where once you put it in, it pulls the oxygen out of the aquarium. Uh, you just get a lot of stuff floating in and it's not good for the shrimp. I haven't noticed that. I've been feeding pretty heavily, and I only recently watched one of his videos covering that. And, I mean, he will use a grain of rice amongst many tanks when he makes the shaker cups, whereas I'm using a full scoop of all three in it. And I usually split that between one, two, three, four, four, five tanks, depending on what I'm feeding. But anyways, we'll start doing a showdown on this, which is why I've got my next product that I'll be doing an unboxing for. I'm going to start that video. Hopefully you guys like this. Sorry, this one ran a little long comparing off other stuff off the cuff. Um, let me know what you think and have a great one, guys.